Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your prices into Housecall Pro. Go to Account Settings and My Price List. If your account is brand new, you can just go ahead and start entering new prices. My account's already set up, so let me show you how I've done it, and hopefully it will give you some ideas for your own account. First of all, for carpet cleaning, you need to decide if you do your pricing per room or area, or if you do it by the square foot. Some carpet cleaners do it one way, some carpet cleaners do it the other way. Uh, there's no right or wrong way. Whatever you decide, just make sure you set up your pricing that way in your House Call Pro account. If you do per room pricing or per space pricing, uh, here's an example of how you could set that up. Uh, I have, for instance, one to two areas is $100, three areas is $119.99, four areas $152.99, and so on and so forth. Um, if you do per room pricing or per step, per haul, that kind of thing, you could, uh, more like flat rate pricing, you could put in something like this, $50 per room, $350 per step, and uh, $20 per haul. The $350 per step is uh, a good example because on stairs, you may charge per step instead of for you know one flat rate for an entire staircase. So on this one, you would charge $3.50 per step. And then when you use this item on a job, when you're actually booking a job for someone that has stairs, you adjust the quantity to like, let's say 12 steps or 14 steps. And it'd do, House Call Pro would automatically calculate 12 times $3.50. Um, so that's how you would set up per room pricing. And I'll break open one of these um, items so that you can see how it's set up specifically. There's a couple of things that you would need to enter for each item. One is a category. I like to create categories like carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, and then maybe something like commercial, if you have separate pricing for commercial clients, but I like to keep my categories pretty simple. Then you have an item name. I like to put um, my prices in my item names. So that's one pro tip that you should probably uh, consider using. If you add your prices into your names, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. That's because once you start using House Call Pro, you're gonna spend a lot of time searching for items in your price list when you're booking jobs. When you book your jobs, you actually build the job by searching for and adding items from your price list into the job. So make your life a lot easier by putting prices right into your item names. So then you can search for things like $50 in order to find your $50 per room price. It'll just make things a lot quicker for you. Um, so enter in your price. You don't need to enter anything for cost or unit unless you happen to know how much it costs for you to deliver a carpet cleaning to your customer. But most of most house call pro users are not going to not going to know that. Uh, that cost number, so just leave it blank. It's not really gonna make a big difference. Then you can fill out a description. I do like to fill out the description area because it is something your customers will see on their receipts, so their invoices. So for instance, on carpet cleaning, I put in includes vacuum, vacuuming, pretreatment, cleaning, and deodorizing. Pet enzyme treatment and stain protector are available at an additional cost. That tells the customer exactly what's included with this purchase, um, and it just makes it so that there's no question as to what I'm including with what they're buying. Um, then you can select if this is a taxable item or not. If you need to charge sales tax, remember in the first video we set up sales taxes. If you did that, you can mark whether this is a taxable item or not. If you're charging sales tax, most items are gonna be taxable. Um, so that's it for this one. Next, I'll show you what per square foot pricing looks like. If you do per square foot pricing, you kinda do the same thing like per area pricing. Put in your range of per square foot prices that you offer. For instance, if you offer a range, a range of 26 cents to 32 cents a square foot, then you'd put in 26 cents a square foot, 28 cents a square foot, 30 cents a square foot, 32 cents a square foot. And then you set it up just like the other one I showed you. You select a category, put in an item name. I like to put the price in the name so it makes it easier to search and find it later. Put in your actual price. If you're doing square foot pricing, it's kind of like doing stairs in the last example. Put in your per square foot pricing, and then when you select your quantity, when you're actually building a job, put in the total number of square feet that you have. So if you're doing a 1,200 square foot job at 26 cents a square foot, you would choose 26 cents a square foot as your price list item, and you'd put in a quantity of 1,200. House Call Pro automatically calculates that and charges the customer the right amount. Then put in a description. Again, keep in mind that your customer is gonna see this on their invoices, so put in something useful. You can add a photo if you want to as well. I forgot to mention that. You can upload a photo for, for each of these priceless items and you could do something different or just the same photo for each of them. The only reason this is important is because it will show up in your online booking system. Um, so I would make sure you upload a photo for anything that, is, that you wanna have a photo next to in your, your House Call Pro online booking system. And then again, make sure you turn on the taxable toggle on taxable if you're gonna charge sales tax for this item. 
So that's it for square foot pricing. If you do upholstery, other services, you can do kind of the same thing. For example, here's my upholstery pricing. I've got a $50 chair, a $75 love seat, a $100 sofa, and each of these are set up the same way. They've got a category, a name, a price, cost is, is empty. I put in a description, a photo, and I turn on that it's a taxable item. Um, so each time you book a job, like I said, you're gonna build a job using these priceless items. Um, and then again, keep in mind that your customers will also see this information in their confirmation emails, in their receipt after they provide payment for the job. So it's helpful, and it's also helpful to show them this stuff when you're doing walkthroughs or when you're doing the checkout with the customer to you know, show them on your iPad, pull up House Call Pro and show them exactly what they're paying for line by line. So make sure when you're writing the titles and the, or the names and the descriptions for these um, price items that you're putting things that make sense and that customers are gonna read and go, oh, I know what that is, $50 per room, that makes sense or a $75 love seat, that makes sense. And then a final tip, if you do discounts, you don't need to put in every discounted price that you offer as a price list item. Instead, discounts are handled as a separate line item on your House Call Pro uh, invoices. So when you set up a job, you put in all the items, so like a sofa, a love seat, if you're doing an upholster job. And then at the very bottom, there's a line that says discounts, and you can put in any discount you want. You can do it by percentages, or you can do it by dollar amount. So if you wanna take 10 bucks off, or 100 bucks off, or if you wanna do 5% or 15%, you put that in separately. So there's no need to put in all of your discounts when you're doing your price list. Just no need to do all that. Um, that's gonna be it for this lesson. In the next lesson, I'm gonna show you how you actually start to book jobs, and you're gonna actually start to use House Call Pro to run your business starting in the next lesson. I look forward to it. Thanks a lot.